Hello everyone, welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make chilaquiles verdes. Take a look at this clip, don't they look amazing? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling all of my ingredients for my salsa. Um, and here you can see I'm using serrano peppers, garlic cloves, and tomatillos. So I have about 20 tomatillos. I know that's a lot, but some of them are really, really small. And remember, if you end up making more salsa than you need, then good for you, you have extra salsa for another day. Go ahead and add it to hot boiling water, let it come to a roaring boil, and then you know that these are gonna be ready to pull out pretty soon after they start boiling. This was about five to seven minutes. Those guys are ready. You want them to change color from that bright green to that light green, and then they're ready to take out. Don't overcook them. This will ruin your salsa because if you overcook them, they will become really bitter and then your entire dish is ruined. So pull them out as soon as they change color which is, like I said, five to seven minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my blender and then just set them aside so they can cool while inside the blender. I added no liquid because I want the liquid to cool as well. While that is set to the side, let's go ahead and start our making our chips for our chilaquiles. I am using two packs of white corn tortillas so i have about 20 tortillas total and i'm going to show you how i cut them i kind of like my chips to be not too big somewhat bite size but not tiny where they're going to burn as soon as you put them in the oil so here you can see how i'm cutting these up about three sections two to three sections depending on the side of the tortilla that you're cutting so you can see there and i'm going to do that to all of the tortillas and then I'm going to fry them in vegetable oil. I'm using about a cup of oil here. I'm gonna let the oil heat up and then I'm gonna start adding the tortillas, how you can see here. And I don't wanna to add too many tortillas because I don't want the pan to be overcrowded. I wanna be able to move these freely. So 20 tortillas took me about three batches. I think I did about three about three to four batches. Um, they go pretty quickly since they're small, so just make sure that you're, once you get them all in the pan, then you're stirring them and then pulling them out and then you can add the second batch and so on and so forth. This may be the most time consuming portion of this dish, but let me tell you, it is worth it. So here you go, a few minutes later, my first batch of chips. Actually, I think this is my second batch of chips is done, so I'm kind of taking out the ones that are already nice and crispy, and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of them. And then finish cooking the rest of them. Yum, yum, yum. This dish is so good. You guys have got to try it. And there we go. Once I went ahead and cooked all of my, or fried all of my tortilla chips, then you can see them here on a large pan. I'm gonna lightly salt them. Once I add some salt, I'm gonna mix it in with my hand, and at least we know those have some seasoning to them already. All right, while I cooked all of those tortilla chips, my vegetables are nice and cooled, so I'm gonna add a quarter of a white onion, a nice handful of cilantro. Then I'm gonna add some salt to taste. I'm doing about a teaspoon here. Add a little more or a little less, depending on how you like your um, seasonings. A nice pinchful of um, pepper, ground up pepper. And this really is the secret to the sauce, is that extra flavor is gonna be that Maggi caldo de pollo um, little bouillon cube. I'm just gonna crumble that in there and it is going to give this salsa just that extra oomph. So good. So, so good. Add a little bit of water so that it's blendable and then blend, blend, blend. You want it pretty blended. Um, no big, big chunks. So blend it until it's nice and smooth. And here you can see our salsa is ready. So I'm gonna show you how I make uh, chilaquiles for the kids really quickly. So I added about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I added about two to three handfuls of the chips and I cracked four eggs. The part that you're seeing here is the eggs already cooking. I'm just kind of mixing, 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 making sure the eggs are nice and cooked. This is for the kids. The kids don't necessarily like their chips, you know, drowning in hot salsa verde. <laughs> so this is the kid-friendly version. Then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with a whole lot of cheese. Use your favorite type of cheese, whatever melted cheese that you like. I use this four Mexican blend cheese, which is just 
super, super yummy. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds, just enough for the cheese to melt, turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plate it for the kids, and this is how the kids like it. I plate it so you got the chips, the eggs, they like a little bit of um, ketchup, and then I just crumble a little bit of dry cheese over the top, and they are ready to go. So now let's get to the nitty gritty one, the traditional one, the one that the adults love. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of oil because I'm making more eggs. So two tablespoons of oil, and really the oil is for the eggs, not for the chips. The chips are already cooked and ready to go, but once you add the eggs, you don't want them to stick. So I'm gonna add a few handfuls of the cooked chips. And remember, we already salted these, so we're starting with stuff that's already seasoned and um, salted. So once I have enough chips, you know, to make however many dishes you're making, I'm going to go ahead and crack about six eggs in here. And this is where the oil that we did in the beginning is really going to be helpful. The oil is going to help cook the eggs and make sure they don't stick to the bottom. Now I'm going to salt my eggs, lightly salt my eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to my eggs as well. And then because I love the flavor of garlic, I'm going to add just a light sprinkle of garlic over the eggs as well. And then keep turning these until they're cooked. Once your eggs are fully cooked, add however much salsa you like. However saucy you like it, that's how much salsa you need to add. So there's no exact measure, however you like it. I like mine kind of saucy. You can see all the sauce at the bottom there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with my favorite shredded cheese and add as much cheese as you like. To top the plate once I'm done, I'm gonna top it with white onion and cilantro. And this is what your dish should look like. Oh my gosh, so good. So, so good. Yum. So this has everything on it now. The chips, the eggs, the sauce that's mixed in there. I topped it with some onion, some cilantro. And now I'm ready. I'm ready to dig in. Look at this yummy, gooey cheese. Oh my gosh, so good. I hope that you guys give this recipe a try. These are honestly delicious. I want to thank you guys again for stopping by and watching another one of my videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so your friends can watch it too. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.